Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're taking a look at the Brooks Catamount. Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to 40 Runs. Now, if this is your first time at 40 Runs, I want you to smash that pink button down there that says subscribe on it. Go to our Facebook page and join the 40 Runs running community and check out the description. There's loads of cool things, including links where you can get these from. Right, so the Brooks Catamount. Now, this is an up-tempo trail running shoe. So let's get stuck in. Right guys, so here it is, the Brooks Catamount. Now this up-tempo trail shoe is new out from Brooks and it's like the brother, the trail brother of the Hyperion Tempo. It's carried over the DNA flash midsole. Um, and actually talking about the midsole, let's get into some of the stats, some of the features. Now this shoe is 125 pounds here in the UK. Uh, the shoe, like I said a second ago, features the DNA flash midsole, which is found in the Hyperion Tempo and the upcoming Elite 2. Uh, the upper is a light mesh with translucent overlays at the toe and around the sides. Uh, you've got 26 mil stack in the heel, 20 mil in the front. Um, so you've got six mil drop and the shoe weighs 10.4 ounces for a UK nine and a half. So a white trail shoe. Now, actually, you know what? For the moment, it's held up pretty well in terms of dust and things like that. But where I run is not that dusty at the moment in the trails, the bits that I do. So actually, it's not getting too ruined. But this, I think, will get ruined pretty soon. But I think what Brooks are trying to create is a shoe that will collect that dirt and will collect the sort of, you know, your journey through those trails. And, and it will make you sort of look at the shoe and go, All right, I did this, I did that. And, and, they, and they kind of want that sort of lived in look from the shoe, which is why they created this. Uh, white shoe which I think is kind of cool and also on here which I really dig and I've not filled it in yet you can put your crew so I'm going to put 40 runs running club on there uh, as well so you've got that on there which I think is pretty cool as well so you can sort of tailor them to your own running club which is awesome so uh, I really dig that um, but the overall feel of the shoe I actually really liked it uh, I do some of the trails I do which are sort of they're not really sort of proper trails they're kind of off-road sections and I really like to pick up the pace when I'm going around there because I really find it's a really good workout especially when I'm marathon training and this shoe just sucks it up and goes for it because you've got the nitrogen infused DNA flash which is ultra snappy it really picks it up uh, I've been running my Pegasus Trail 2s up there which is great with the uh, React foam but this thing is just it, I say it's like the um, tempo on the trails and it just feels great especially when you've got um, the grip from the lugs. Uh, you've also got, sorry, the ballistic rock shield um, underneath. So if there is some sort of rocks and stuff like that, it does seem to protect your foot as well. I should have mentioned that in the stats and the features. But yeah, it's great, you know. It, it's, it just feels really snappy and, and punchy when you're out there, when you're sort of, you know, you see that sort of flat stretch through the trails and you just want to put your foot down and then you get into a hill, you can sort of launch it up the hill and it's giving you all that and I really dig it. It doesn't feel as heavy uh, as it is, 10.4 ounces in my UK, nine and a half. It definitely doesn't feel as heavy uh, when you're out there. It actually feels lighter uh, than that, which is great. It's really breathable, which is cool. The fit is a funny thing. Uh, it fits true to size. But because of these overlays on it, uh, in particular around the sides and stuff, it, it's not as um, flexible as you'd expect. So it is, it's, it's got better the more I've run in it. And, and when I first put them on, I thought, oh, okay, this is a little bit tight, but actually it's got a little bit better, but it, it's, a, it's a snug feel. And I think they're there to, aim, uh, there to give you some support and structure in the shoe. You can see them down here. 
and across the front of the shoe. Uh, and it definitely, it definitely helps, I would say. But yeah, just on the fit, it, it is true to size, but when you first put them on, you'll go, oh really? So just be aware of that. But it does get better the more you're running them. But yeah, overall, I've been really impressed with the shoe. And, and I say, I really loved running in it and, and picking up the pace on some of the trails and where you can put your foot down. This thing is given a nice responsive ride. I much prefer this to a traditional trail running shoe, which is sort of big, clumpy and cumbersome. So again, I've got to give Brooks um, some sort of kudos because coming out of a shoe like this, which is not going to be for everybody and it's really expensive, 125 pounds for a trail shoe is expensive and you may not want to get it because it's white. But actually, I kind of dig the whole ethos to it and I like what they're trying to do with it. So yeah, if you're looking for a trail shoe that's a little bit different, nice and snappy, up tempo, it's got a bit of protection, you've got the plate underneath, then check it out, guys. The Brooks Catamount.